Hello, welcome to This Week at EPL for Monday, January 10th, 2022. I'm Andrew. <laughs> I'm Anna. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this week, so we've kind of, we're kind of continuing part of last week as well. We, I didn't quite mention that, that the actual winter redo explore winter endeavors had begun. But it has. It has indeed. <laughs> I can look out the window and I can see that we're already having some winter endeavors as, yeah. as is. Um, so yeah, it's officially began uh, January 3rd, which was last Monday, through February 13th, the day before uh, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, yeah. Yeah, your favorite EPL activities or uh, just reading or using our services um, will allow you to enter for a chance to win one of our grand prizes. Mm -hmm. uh, this winter is all about enjoying winter endeavors, as, as I mentioned there. Um, and it's all around in your community, in the world, and, you know, from the games in Beijing all the way to your own backyards. Yep. Uh, grand prizes include, what do you remember about the grand prizes? Um, Let me bring them up here in a second. I honestly don't. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. There's so many. Um, there's curling lessons. That's right. I saw that here. So yes. this is how you enter. Uh, this is at our website right here, uh, epl.lib.in.us. Yeah, it's really easy to find. The link is on the mm -hmm. homepage. And that will take you here. So it does say some of this kind of stuff here, but it says follow our events, which takes you to the calendar, I believe. Yep. Uh, Eckhart Athletic Quest. We'll mention that more in the, in the, the coming minutes. And then the <laughs> prize entry form. Actually, we can actually go back because I think they're down here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Ice skating cart, which is Sport One Parkview uh, Ice House in Fort Wayne. You can get a punch card that will um, get you what is ten ice skating sessions. That's fun. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so that's one of the things that you can enter to win. Uh, some of our typical things like coding critters is a great uh, toy for ages four to ten uh, that has to do with steam and learning. Um, steam again being science, technology, engineering, art, and math. So a little bit different from STEM. Uh, if you've been in the area for any length of time, you probably know about Pokagon um, State Park and the toboggan run that's there. Yeah, I used to work there. Oh, cool. Yeah. What was, did you, what was, did you have a favorite, favorite part about it? Uh, just lots of different people. Yeah? Yeah, I worked in the, um, in the hotel part of it. Oh, cool. Yeah, our yeah. restaurant. Cool. Good time. <laughs> nice. Um, keeping it local again, here we have our day out in Auburn and drink around Auburn which includes some of the usual stuff uh, that you come to expect. Um, gift cards from Brown House, Classic City Cookies, uh, Night Street Brew Coffee House, is, and then the Drink Around Auburn includes, uh, I mean, I guess the Coffee House could be Drink Around Auburn, but not the same Drink Around right, Auburn. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, Van Anthony uh, Auburn Tap Room, the Auburn Brewing Company, and Byler Lane Winery. Um, gift cards for, for each of those, I believe. Um, and then the zoo membership, that's always great. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. We were, uh, my family were gifted one of those actually, uh, last Christmas. Uh, and that has been, that's been a really good time. Like yeah, whenever I yeah. have like the day off instead mm -hmm. of just staying home with my son, I can, we can go to the zoo. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, that's a good gift. Yeah. Cause you can even go during the winter for the zoo lights. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Comets game vouchers, um, definitely a kind of winter endeavor, winter mm -hmm. sport. Yep. Um, curling, here's the curling lessons yeah. that you mentioned. <laughs> Fort Wayne Curling Club. Um, if you pick the curling lessons, you'll be entered to win a learn to curl lesson from Fort Wayne Curling Club. The, uh, the learn to curl lessons last for two hours, and that experience includes learning the fundamentals of the game with gameplay. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, it's I mean, cool. that's one of the things that, like, people like to tune into and watch, like, that one time every four years. Yeah, on the Olympics, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and of course, the Samsung Galaxy tablet. That's a uh, Galaxy Tab A7. I don't know where that actually fits in the lineup of Samsung Galaxy tablets, but Not it's sure. definitely been... I feel like that's been an upgrade over what we've had in the past. It hasn't been like the... Uh, a couple of years ago, it wasn't a like a Samsung Galaxy tablet. It was something more like a like one of the reading tablets, I think. So oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. Or, you know, if you just want to do, you know, participate and let us know that you're participating and you don't necessarily need anything, uh, you can say, I'm good. Um, yes, and just do it for the experience. Yeah, <laughs> and then it takes you to an entry form when you click on, uh, what was it, prize entry form. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can put in your name, some method to contact you, what age range you fit into. Um, and then the way that you, the way that it works as well is um, each person has unique goals. When you participate, you can set a goal that works for you. Yeah. Um, what kind of things do you like to do? Uh, I like to read. So you read so books, be, yes. physical books. Mm -hmm. So yes, that could be your thing. Yeah. Um, so every time that you read a book, or every time, if um, uh, I know every so often I 
get stuck halfway through a book. I put it yeah. down and I can't get back into it. So like mm-hmm. maybe even at that point, I didn't get all the way through the book. I can say I still met that goal because I at least got to a, yeah. a point. Halfway um, point. Yeah. Uh, you can always share your goal too, but I mean, there are other things here, like, uh, you did an act of kindness in the winter, uh, so that means, like, if, if you're, um, if you went out and you helped a neighbor, neighbor shovel their driveway or their, um, or their sidewalk or something yeah, like that, yeah. or you just maintained your own sidewalk for people who walk by, um, attended a library program, so that's virtual, in-person, or, uh, like a to-go kit, um, research goal as well, so we don't want to leave out genealogy people who are doing their own <laughs> research there. Um, and um, Hoopla, Campy, Libby, Flipster, those yeah, are all great I services. Resources, yeah. mm-hmm. um, and you can share your goal, and then this is where you'll click on what you'd like to be entered to win, and then hit submit. Um, and that's all from our, our website right there. Yeah, so after they complete a goal, you just fill the form out every time, right? Yep, yep. yep. Uh, so that's even if you end up doing like two or three in a week, um, mm-hmm. you can uh, you can do those two or three, and every time that you yep. enter that, that form, that's another entry. Yeah, then you get another chance to, or more chances to win a prize. Yep, and now if you actually uh, don't, for example, if you don't have like access to do that, or if you don't have like a really good time to, to do that yourself, and you're like, oh, I haven't done that yet, if you come in and drop off some items, uh, you can let the person at the desk know that you have some entries, they can kind mm-hmm. of get one of them filled out for you and then make a note to do the rest of them later on. If yeah. you have if you have like five or yeah. so, uh, let's say your kids um, had read like five books or something like that, um, we don't need you to stay at the desk there for us to fill yeah. out the form <laughs> five times for you, but we'll do it once and then we'll make a note to do it the rest of the times. Mm-hmm. That way you can still get your entries and you don't need to spend a whole lot of time if your hands are full with life. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, what so else we have? We have some weekly highlights yes. for you. We have... Um, upstairs in our closed community room, we have board games and puzzles that you can check out. Yeah. So we have a couple examples. So this one is one of Let's our puzzles. <laughs> we can see it a little bit better. Ooh, oh, don't spill it. Don't spill it. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. Go ahead and dig out that way. <laughs> oh, is it, it's in a bag. Cool. <laughs> so this is, what is it? Spring. Oh, Spring. sorry. This is a... Um, so, spring wedding is uh, it, the yeah, thing for the... Yeah, so if you like puzzles, <laughs> if you want something to like sit out um, during the two-week checkout period, I guess. I think so. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big yeah, one. this is a bigger puzzle, but we have different sizes, so it comes in a bag, so easy cleanup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they're not gonna, they're not going to spill out in the bag. No. Because the people who are the person who puts this together is more intelligent than I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I totally wouldn't. Have, I mean, maybe after the first time, I would have figured yeah, that out. I guess. Like, yeah, that's what else do we have over there? So it's not just puzzles. Yes, yeah, so we have board games too. So we have headbands. Oh, this is a fun one. Yes, I love headbands. <laughs> not why, good why is it, it called headbands? Uh, so you put a headband on your head, and then you put a card that has like an object or a person in it on the card, and then you have to try and guess um, what you have on your head. <laughs> nice. So this person has Napoleon on their on their head there, so they'd have to like, what's the thing you always do with Napoleon? You know, like tuck your hand in your in your jacket. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And so you have to try and make the person guess what they have on their head. That's cool. Yeah. That seems like a good kind of party game. It is. It's fun. Um, good Friday night family game as well. If you're if yeah. you're not doing too much out with uh, uh, other outside the home friends and such like that. Yes, and we have another one here called Camp. Camp. I've not played this one. I don't know what this one is. <clears throat> the game that grows with you, apparently, from uh, ages four and up. That's pretty cool. Multi-generational play. Hmm, looks uh, very detailed. Yeah, with four levels of questions, camp will challenge a six-year-old as well as a 68-year-old. <laughs> Level one questions are primarily identification of animals and geography. Uh, look one here, there's a card that I see on the back that says, the bird is, uh, the bird, what bird is pictured above? Uh, and there's A, B, C, a red-winged blackbird, a dove, or a cardinal. So that seems pretty, pretty, you know, yeah. clear-cut. And then does go up to the lo- fourth level. How many states have the cardinal as a state bird? Oh. I, know. <laughs> I know. Is it five, seven, or nine? Oh, I have no idea. I thought every state had a different bird. I think there is a way. Yeah. So there is one of those, like, three, uh, like, it, it's a, there's a decoder of sorts that lets you read the answer, so it's pretty oh, easy cool. to not accidentally 
Um, this this thing answers? here, yeah, yeah, it has a little red window on it, and then the cards themselves have these little red um, letters, and the, the answer is actually in blue underneath them. So, um, so those are some of the games that we have. Those yeah. can be placed yeah. on hold. Yeah, there's a lot of different ones up there, so go check them out. And yeah. there's um, some down on the children's level, too. Yeah. So um, it has more children age. The children's ones have yeah. been pretty popular, from what yeah. I understand. Um, these ones here are, they're in an odd spot because they're in the, as you said, the closed community room. Mm -hmm. um, those are upstairs by the desk that's up there, but it's in the room that has the double doors, and then it's around the corner a bit. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. And we actually, a couple of us actually played myself, Zach, and Tegan actually played one live on stream a couple weeks ago. Oh, that's fun. That was a little bit before um, the Christmas break. And, well, I think we're going to try to do that again either in January or maybe a little bit later in February. So keep an eye out for that. We try to do one of those every so often to mm -hmm. uh, kind of tell you about a game, play it for you, have some fun. It's kind of yeah. fun to play a... Uh, a game for work, but it also helps promote yeah. it. Yeah, so, wow, man, that was, it's already been 11 minutes. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> teen Lego Club, Thursday. <laughs> Children's take and make, adult take and make, no. Um, <clears throat> teen, take, teen Legos, the usual thing. Um, mm -hmm. Stop by. Uh, it does say Thursdays. That's kind of the main time, but you can also do it anytime. There are inspirational pictures up that you can build. Um, and uh, your build could be put up on the top shelf so that we can, uh, other people can see it. Yeah. Uh, bring in a friend, even if they haven't been to the library a whole lot, say, hey, let's go play it Le with Legos at the teen library. Uh, that's yeah, the thing that to do. Yeah, that is fun. Yeah. Um, next, we have Children's Take and Make Projects. So this week, um, there's a winter shaving cream right picture. Um, so all the supplies are provided in the bag that they give you when you um, get it at the children's level desk. And Andy might be grabbing an example. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't the children's one. Oh, this okay. All right. I'm back. Um, okay. What's really cool about this one here that, that I was told is the children's one is, uh, it includes, what did you say, glue, shaving cream, and paper? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So apparently what happens is that as it dries, it kind of like puffs up a bit with the glue oh, and everything. Oh, that is cool. So like kind of a 3D thing? I think so. Like popping off the page? <laughs> it could be interesting because you should try it. Yes, you should try it. Uh, this one here is the adult take and make project, but you could probably do it with kids as well if, if they're of a certain age. Yeah. Um, mason jar luminaries. Uh, if, if it's a craft that has to do with mason jars, it's probably fun. Um, and they're, the only thing that's like more crafty than a mason jar is, is like a like a like an empty pallet. Yes. Yeah. Mason <laughs> so, jars are like the on the top tier of creativity yeah. things. It's got a little um a uh, little what do you call it? The candle that just, you just flip on. Oh yeah. It's, a, lot, yeah. it's a it's a non flame candle. I mm -hmm. don't know. So uh, that's what that looks like, and those are going to be at the main level. The children's ones are at the lower level. Um, Eckhart Athletic Quest. Uh, yes, so that is um, an activity <laughs> that is part of um, Read, Do, Explore Winter Endeavors. So you can pick up the sheet at the main level desk. And so the mission is to identify 10 local athletes or teams who have made a name for themselves in the world of sports. Each page will have information about the athletes and a clue. So you kind of go around town using this map and um, try and put a name to each location around town. And then we do have an answer key um, here at the library at the main desk. So if you are stuck or if you think you've completed it all, we can make check your answers and make sure you're right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's actually some information about this on the website as well. So yes. if you go to that same area that has the Read to Explore Winter Endeavors, uh, you can actually see the same thing that's going to be up uh, uh, at the desks that you can pick up. So if you want to pick it up yourself, uh, you can come pick it up. If you want to print it out yourself or just look on your, look your phone, there is this part right here. It is about 13 pages. It's got a lot of information on it. Mm -hmm. It's all nice and big, so you can actually read it while you're yeah. out running around in the 32 degree weather. Um, and then, hey, here we go. Here are some of the ooh, sideways map. Uh, but obviously, when you get it in person, you can turn <laughs> sideways. Yeah. The right side. So there is that. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Specific this week. Um, on time, online story time. Uh, I've been doing this, but Karen gets to come back, and she's yes. going to be doing it next, uh, this uh, this tomorrow, actually, at 10.45 a.m. Uh, she said that she's going to be talking about um, <clears throat> how
Hibernation and Animals That Hibernate, a story for Small Bear by Alice B. McGinty, mm -hmm. uh, and Richard Jones, with permission from Penguin Random House Books. Um, as it's always important to let let people know or give the credit to them because yeah, they've absolutely. been able to they've given us permission to to read those and and such mm -hmm. like that I guess disseminate the information I don't know yeah. how that, tech, that phrasing works. Neither. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Thursday. Thursday we have a couple things. So um, first we have Chinese American cooking. So um, you might have seen last week, um, Karen and Allison um, did a broadcast and did a live cooking. So that was fun. They made uh, sweet and sour chicken. Yeah, so it looked really good. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. We got to have fun. I was there, uh, and Zach was helping me out, um, and we were actually doing the tech stuff. Yes, um, behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had uh, three different cameras using some of the more stuff that we have here. It was fun doing tech, <laughs> the tech things. That was my takeaway. Um, I actually get to participate in the cooking part next week. Oh, which is... Uh, which says, this week, we'll be making shrimp stir-fry live on Facebook. Yes. Uh, and then posting later on YouTube um, every Thursday until the 10th, of, through the 10th of February. Yeah. Um, so tune in. Um, see if there's something that's coming up that you want to watch or just, you know, watch. Yeah. It's, it's fun. Mm -hmm. You know, it's live. Who knows what could happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think on, the, on our calendar and on Facebook events, it shows what they'll be cooking for each of the weeks. So you can check to see which ones you want to watch. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also, um, we do have Brews and Books still going. Um, that is an in-person book club, though it is meeting at the Auburn Brewing Company. And they do have a fire pit and an outdoor space uh, with outdoor space heaters as well, um, where you can you will meet uh, to discuss Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. Um, those are available at the library here, right? Yep, yeah, um, by the hold shelf at the main on the main level by the desk. Yeah, they, they'll show you where it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back to the calendar here because I wanted to double check the time. Uh, it is 6 to 7 p.m. Uh, on this Thursday. Yeah, so that's coming up. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I think that is all for yeah, today. Yeah, that's all we had. Anything that you're excited about coming up? Or uh, are you a fan of winter? Or are you not no, a fan of winter? I am not a fan of winter. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm summer again. I miss it. <laughs> I like, I like um, sometimes how winter looks. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm looking out the window, 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 window. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking out the, the window. So <laughs> that's why I keep looking over this way. Um, we are actually going to change the uh, the video that runs at the beginning and end of, of these here coming up to <laughs> eventually uh, get with the season. But I definitely like seeing how winter looks. Yeah, it is very pretty. Like just after it has just snowed, but I'm just, I don't like driving in winter. Like yeah. the icy roads. It scares me. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was, it was a bit slippery coming in from Fort Wayne for me today until yeah. I got to DeKalb County. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward to definitely doing that that cooking on Thursday because shrimp stir fry and then getting to use the technology and all that kind of stuff. I'm looking forward to that. So tune in for that. Let us know uh, how yeah. it looks. Um, make some of your own. Send us a picture. Yeah, feel free to comment during the live broadcast. Definitely. Or if you can't make it to the live broadcast, it'll be up on our YouTube channel. And um, on the Facebook page as well afterwards. Yep. Uh, let us know if there's anything as well uh, when we're live here. Um, if you'd like to have, if you have any questions, uh, if we see that, we will answer that. So mm -hmm. um, otherwise, we will see you the next time we'll go live is uh, for story time tomorrow at 1045. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, see you later. Bye.